Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Soul Stones. Last episode, oh boy, a lot happened. So basically, Victor sailed the boat for us to get to the terraforming facility. We infiltrated with everyone with Sienna staying behind, and we found the doctor and he had basically uh, just taken Terrakion and using his power to do the terraforming. We had to battle the doctor, then battle the shadow Terrakion. Managed to save everyone, Sienna popped in to kind of calm Terrakion down. However, that gave Victor the chance to slip away, so Victor's gone off with the boat doing uh, what he wants to do, probably gonna just uh, go a little bit too far to destroy the, um, the Republic, we'll see. We're now in the time um, matrix where Agnes has found out how to kind of customize it to her liking, I gotta say it looks really awesome. The Doctor managed to cure Caitlyn as well, so everyone's um, looking pretty good right now. We've got the portal open to the 21st century, so we're gonna try and get the Fallen One back to the, uh, the future slash present. We're going back to our past which is the a lot of people's present okay it's a lot okay we're going back to the 21st century to bring it back to 3564 <laughs> it's quiet too quiet where is everyone agent roberts i don't know myself this entire place was staffed with some of the revolution personnel we left behind that we knew were loyal to our cause but it's deserted so where did the revolution stow the beast away downstairs in the lab you kept a colossal beast that is capable of immeasurable destruction in the basement of lilypad town the facility is perfectly secure, don't you worry. The infrared neutralizers we employed back in Ice Mist had kept the beast sufficiently pacified. It wasn't going anywhere unless we wanted it to. Now, let's not waste any more time. We should go downstairs. There's a downstairs in this place? Where is it? Uh, I'm gonna say I didn't even know this place had a downstairs, but I'm guessing this way. Oh no. Zombies, kill them. Prepare to die. Ooh, prepare to die. Agent Victor sends his regards. Wait, Agent Victor? Food for the Mind Link. Oh, wait, what? What the hell are Mind Link zombies doing here and in this timeline? And what was that one of them that said about Agent Victor sending his regards? Victor did this, but how? Good God, what happened here? It's a slaughter. All these revolution scientists. Wait, one of the scientists is alive. Agent, what happened here? The Republic, they opened a portal out of nowhere and they came for us. The creature, they took it with them. They somehow suppressed the signals, keeping the beast in check. They set it loose on us. We didn't stand a chance. Look beyond, within the prison. Agent Victor came for us too. How did Victor do this? I think I found out how. Look. Oh, is that a portal? I think Victor must have come out of that thing. How did he manage to travel back in time too? Beta Omicron is the only other time gate in 3564. He must have come from Beta Omicron then. That explains why all the Mindlink zombies are here. He must have brought the zombies with him. So then this just proves that he's been a Republican double agent all along. Those zombies just obeyed his command. Oh god, what now? Something's coming out the portal. Whoa. Time to finish the job. Oh, it's Pierre. Shadow magic again? Faulty help. Oh, Pierre, man. I feel so bad all these, like, old people just getting used as shadow clones. It's it's not good. It's not good. But let's uh, go superpower. This is just, this game is wild. Was not expecting this. Um, I feel like I should switch. Let's go into Dust Noir because we can go for like a fire punch on Galvantula. Oh, Tojimaru just has sturdy. That sucks. It's all good though. It's all good. Another superpower. Get some more attack and defense buffs. And we will go for a fire punch on Galvantula. An Omega Potion. Okay. It's fine. You can keep living with Sturdy because it's just going to keep boosting my attacks. So um, if you want to heal up again, that would be very, very fine. Thank you very much. I appreciate this. We're just going to keep getting stronger and stronger. Oh, man. At this point, it's probably best for you just to let Tojimaru die. Oh, critical hit. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, I'm going to wild charge this, though. I'm a little bit scared this could do some damage. I'm probably going to potion up yeah, Tojimaru again. Oh, that sucks. Not enough to take it out, but we did a lot of damage. Uh, I'm gonna go hit powered on, and we are going to superpower again, and then cascade. Hopefully, take out the executor. Oh, I did a lot of damage. Oh, please don't say I die. I think I'm gonna die. That poison could do a lot of damage. Live, 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 live. Nice. Okay, so I can full restore. Everything's fine. Right, gonna superpower again. And let's go for a full restore. Get rid of the poison. 
and you're gonna full restore as well. <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. I'm just getting more of the stat boost, so everything's fine with me. Right, let's hit you, and hopefully Paldon can finish you off and you won't heal up again. No healing up. Okay, so I've used all those potions. That, well, potentially. There was one battle before where I thought they used all their potions, then bam, they just had another, like, few uh, Tetra potions at the time. Ooh, uh, we should definitely... Would play rough be better here? I think play rough be better. And this would hammer the Gyarados. Oh, it's a Mega Gyarados. Night. Oh, you got a Focus Sash. Dragon Darts. I mean, that's fine, that's fine. I ain't too worried. Because I'm just going to... Uh, superpower and Dazzling Gleam. Oh, snap. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. No. You didn't take me out. Okay, that Raichu sucks. That Focus Ash really saved the day for you, didn't it? But that's your last Pokemon, so... You literally have, like, 1 HP. You ain't going to win this. Unless you had, like, a move that... Attacks both of us, takes us both out this in one hit, and then, yeah. Why do they always pick us off with the damn shadow constraints, but not you, Volti? Huh. Because, clearly, I'm the best, but <laughs> look, something's, something's happened to the portal, and it's gone. That sucks, but that means we literally just got here as Victor escaped with the beast. Damn it! This is not good. Need to get back to the time matrix as soon as possible. The 21st century is useless to our strategy if Victor and the Republic have taken control of the beast. Volty, take the portal in the lab upstairs back to the time matrix when you can. Kara and I shall return there to plan out our next steps. Oof, yikes. I gotta say, can we not like just go back to the time matrix and then um, just go and set the coordinates to like five minutes before Victor shows up and then take it and then just warn everyone? But So that was a complete disaster. That is definitely not good. What do we do now, Agent Roberts? This beast creature you spoke of was supposed to be the revolution's trump card. But if Agent Victor has now double-crossed you and taken the creature, we're screwed. The group of you are formidable trainers, but the group of you alone aren't enough to fend off the Republican army, their zombified, mind-linked soldiers, corrupted Pokemon, and God only knows what else. But f for them to now have the enslaved beast under their control, as well? We may as well surrender now. Wait. This is a long shot, but I have an idea. Do tell. While I was uh, quietly crawling about through the Republican security systems, I learned a couple of things. A lot of key Republican infrastructure uh, produced that infrared signal technology that prevents us from being able to just open a time portal to anywhere we want within their premises, correct? Sleeper spires, as well as the capital sector, all possess that technology. That's my understanding, yes, so what? If you recall, those infrared signals are what allows the Republic to subjugate the beast and bring it within their control. What we need to do is find the source of that infrared technology and disable it. If those signals are deactivated, we can use the time matrix to take a shortcut directly into the fortress, that is Neo Avion City, rather than trying to go through the multiple class M6, M7, and M8 checkpoints blocking the way into the city. Are you crazy? If we disable those signals, that means the beast will run amok and that's another ice mist village waiting to happen. Not to worry, Agent Kara. We're not bringing the full network down and thereby immorally losing the creature on civilians like Victor did. That would raise an alarm with the Republic and draw attention to us. One intelligent thing the Republic did was create multiple layers of uh, redundancy as far as the emitters producing those infrared signals are concerned. I have deduced that the infrared signals are broadcast from different places around the Apoch region and when you disable some of that key infrastructure, it allows us to open a portal from the time matrix there as we please. How do you think Agnes and I uh, were able to greet you in Ashfoam Marsh? Tarakion broke the terraform facility which was emitting those signals. So as soon as the facility was brought down, the infrared signals fell which allowed us to open a portal to rescue the group of you. What's your point, General? Another such place that has this infrastructure is Cinder Cinderwood Town. It is the main location where the Republic's media facility is based, and from where all of the, the propaganda is being broadcast. Predictably, that facility is buffed in those infrared signals as well. If we bring down the Republican media HQ, we will then be able to open a time portal to anywhere within the radius that the infrared signal used to reach. General Almeida, with all due respect, we don't have time to go knocking down all the infrastructure of the Republic right now. We need to get to the capital. That's why I'm suggesting this. The radius of the infrared signal that the Republic Media HQ covers extends into just a little bit of Neo Avion, and there is no other key infrastructure such as sleeper spires or terraforming facilities, or anything like that, which overlaps with the infrared signal radius that Cinderwood 1 produces. 
if you bring that facility down, we can then use the time matrix to just marginally teleport us to the outskirts of Neo Avion. That's brilliant, General. You found the weakest link of the Republican network. If we break down that link, we then get access to the capital. We could theoretically sneak past their fortifications using the time matrix and go straight to the director and finish the job ourselves. So our next step is to go to Cinderwood Town then. Correct. However, the area is a Sector M6 area only, so I need to upgrade your citizen cards. A sufficient amount of time has elapsed since you got your last upgrade, so hopefully this doesn't uh, give off any alarm bells. Just a second. Whee, they're all done. Now, to get to Cinderwood Town, there is a path to get there if you go east from the Umburu Encampment. Uh, Alright, Volti, I think the fastest way to get there would be to leave the Time Matrix to the south, go to Agnes's lab and fit Epsilon, and then return to the Encampment. Agent Roberts and I will meet you there. Oh, okay, so level cap's been 160 now. Sweet. Right. That's awesome. So let's get healed up. And I will do a little bit of grinding. Probably get on to like 155 or something. And then we'll uh, use the Alakazam, teleport to the encampment, and then we can, I guess, is it head east? Yeah, I guess like go through this way to get to Cinderwood Town. That's the Republican Media HQ. Then we'll probably end up at the power plant, I'm guessing. Then we can go through this abandoned subway, get to a Sigma uh, Epsilon, and then, yeah. This will be like the final part of the game. Wait, have we been over here? We have not been over here. Polaris City. Can we even get to this place? I wonder. Because Jurassic Park kind of sounds pretty cool. But let me... um. Do some grinding and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Okay, so I'm grinded up. We're looking very good right now. So let's go and take the Alakazam. And we're going to teleport all the way back to the encampment. And we're going to head east. And we're going to go, is it through this way? Yeah, Cinderwood Trail. Okay. Oh, this bridge looking quite nice. Ooh. I like how this place looks. Uh, do I need to pop a repel? I'm, yeah, I do. Although I'm not sure how long this uh, trail is, so maybe I don't. So we could be at Cinderwood Town. Oh no, okay, it's still got more to go. Let's pop a repel. It was just in case that was like, you know, the, and the, the map had looked like a big route, but it was just really a small one. But it's actually a big route. A Luxite. Ooh. Mega Luxray. I kind of want to see that. That would be kind of cool. And Zygarde Cell, wee. 37%. Is that a uh, hidden grotto? Yes, it is. Ooh. Oh, that's a cool shiny. Let's just capture this. Whee. Easy peasy. Nice, nice, nice. Gotta say, I'd, I think I'd much rather find... Um... Oh, Power Punch is actually... Kind of cool. Um, I'd much rather find items in the hidden grottos right now. <laughs> Purely because the items you get have been insane. And I would just... Yeah, the Pokemon, are, the Pokemon is good and all, but... Yeah, just items right now would be super helpful. I think once we get to Cinderwood Town, I'll probably just spend some money to get some... More like, Alpha Potions, Revives and stuff. Just in case. Just in case. And Gengar, I think... I need to double check. I feel like Gengar's flying ice. It's definitely not ghost anymore, so I can hit it with a fighting move, but... I love that Mega Gengar. What we got here? Toughness 5. Okay. Raises the attack and defense of a Pokemon in battle. It wears off if withdrawn. Not bad. There's a guy that gives you free gems every day in Cinderwood Town. Oh, sweet. To be fair, I've got many gems. Many, many, many gems. I don't think I need any more. <laughs> I found lots of gems that just give me like three at a time. Oh, dude. It sucks you have a, a normal type team because uh, you're getting absolutely smashed right now. Oh, okay, not all normal. Mega Aerodactyl, I mean, it's fine because it's just gonna. Yep. <laughs> absolutely destroy you. This Infernib's too good. Way too good. Ooh, okay, we're here. Hey, it's Cameron and uh, Ezreal and um, Rhea. It's been a while. Rhea, Cameron, Ezreal, you're alive. 
Indeed they are, Voltsy. We got here a while ago and we were as surprised as ever to run into them. But how? Thought your time travel was intercepted by the Republic as well. What are you guys talking about? We showed up right where we intended to. Oh, lucky you. <laughs> oh, so Victor's a bad guy. So that surprised precisely no one? That man used the Republic as bait at Ice Mist and uh, sick the beast on them. He lacked any and all chill on a good day. To slaughter all those revolution scientists, that's barbaric. But not beyond him, given his track record. Hold on though, I got a question. How do you control the Mindlink zombies and order them to attack the scientists without them attacking him? We suspect it's through something called a Shadow Stone. We don't know much about them, except that they are being used to summon shadow clones of people we used to know. From Soul Keepers to Watchers to Shadow Council. Shadow Stone? You mean like this one? Oh. Release me. Cameron, what the hell? Yeah, we were a bit taken aback by it, but it's uh, kind of amusing having old oh, Watcher Bellatrix around. <laughs> Her protests about how she'll harm my children make me chuckle. Don't worry, she's harmless while I got the Shadow Stone. I'll kill you all. No, bad Bellatrix, stay. <laughs> I'm not a canine, mortal swine. I shall bring untold eons of suffering upon your entire line of descendants. Cameron, you better explain what the hell this is. Back in your Shadow Stone now, Bellatrix. It's like a Pokeball. Only for souls of Watchers and Soul Keepers, I guess, or I think, or something, maybe. You have a Shadow Stone? How? Yep, our team managed to assassinate one of the Republican generals in this sector and took his Shadow Stone. Our objective was to dispose of the Republican general leading this sector, and once we did that, uh, meet up at the rendezvous point with Agent Victor's group. I found the Shadow Stone on the general's body, and when we were inspecting it, out comes good old Bellatrix. We were stunned and of course she instantly wanted to try attack us, but she couldn't because the Shadow Stones prevent her from attacking the Holder or something. They create some kind of force field around us or something maybe. I like Cameron just like, yeah I got this thing, I'm not sure how it works, but it's kind of cool. I don't know, whatever it is she can't touch us. Try as she might. However I can sick her on anyone I want. Guess I have enough badges so she can't disobey me. <laughs> oh, that's why I call her my Pokemon now. She's honorary uh, team, number, uh, team member number 7. I'm appalled at how you're making so light of this. I mean, I'm not, it's kind of funny. <laughs> yes, Cameron could be taking things a bit more seriously, duly noted. However, for what it's worth, based on what you just told us, this Shadow Stone ends up being a very useful tool then. If we have Watcher Bellatrix's soul captured in that Shadow Stone, it means that if we're able to disarm the Republican generals and take away that Shadow Stone, we can then summon some of our former team members to help us in our fight, doesn't it? You might be under something, Agent Rhea. But then, Dr. LeDuc didn't have the Shadow Stone that he used to summon that Shadow Clone of Aki on his, on his person when we captured him. So where is that Shadow Stone? And that also means Angelo has multiple Shadow Stones because he uh, sicked a bunch of a uh, Shadow Council and a Shadow Clone of Spencer on us at the Fenzu Crater. And previously a Shadow Clone of Watcher Lucius at Voltsy. We didn't know uh, much about these Shadow Stones previously, but this intelligence is invaluable. We need to report back to the rest of the team and inform them of this. We also need to interrogate Dr. Duke and determine what he knows about the powers of the Shadow Stones. Okay, new plan. Cameron, Agent Roberts and I are going back to the Time Matrix. We're going to provide the Shadow Stone to Agnes and hope she can help us study it. If we can turn this into a weapon against the Republic, we need to explore this route. Especially since we lost control of the Beast to Victor and the Republic. To the rest of you, you should continue with the plan to take on the Republican at Media HQ and bring down those satellite emitters. Understood, Agent Kara. Voltsy, meet Caitlin, Ezreal, and myself in front of the Republican Media HQ. Take the east exit uh, out of Cinderwood Town towards Serenity Falls. They have a large campus overlooking the falls. We can meet there. Okay, so who are we actually missing now? I feel like we're just missing a meal, right? He wasn't with us there. A meal and... Yeah, I feel like we're just missing a meal. Where is he? He always just goes off somewhere. Anyway. Uh, let's go explore the town a little bit, maybe we can find some free stuff. Found this item the other day, ooh! Uh, I haven't the faintest idea why anyone would want to equip this on their Pokemon, but... Cool, thank you. Uh, let's see, let's see, yo! My friend is grounded, so playing on these swings is kind of boring by myself. You got an Altaria right here, play with the Altaria! That'd be so fun! Altaria can like push you so far over the, the swing, you could just probably do some loops. That'd be fun, right? And we have some questions to answer as well. All right, let's see if we can get these right. All right, question number one. What held item reduces income and damage of a fire type move to 5% of its, oh, uh, fire, oh, Ocker Berry. Sweet. All right, next question. Uh, what disease results in Pokemon getting boosted EVs from battle? Pogorus, because we have it. 
Hey. Uh, last question. Which of these regional variant Pokemon have a mega form, but its original form doesn't? My champ. Wait. Oh, I was thinking like in actual Pokemon. I guess in Dodrio then? Wait for it, and Pokerus. Last question. Yeah. Ooh, Dodrio Megastone. Frostlap Megastone and Breloom Megastone. Thank you. Very kind of you. All right. Uh, we can go that way or we can go down this way. Okay, let's check out these houses. Serenity Falls used to be a lake at one time. Here there was a, a tomb that hid a legendary Pokemon several centuries ago. But now that with the terraforming that the Republic has done, who knows what has happened to that tomb? Yeah. Uh, let's not pop a repel just yet and put one later on. Don't really want to do that trade, no thank you. Got the cool uh, Seismitoad, let's say Palpitoad, but let's go check out this house. Hey yo! You ever tried equipping your Pokemon with those one type use gems? Prep a move of a certain type once and then it's consumed. Uh. Yeah, I'll, I'll take some. Oh, five normal gems? I mean, that's kind of cool. But now I think about it, I don't have any, like, normal type. I got. No, I ain't got Body Slam. I mean, I think if I'm going to use the gems, I'm probably going to go for a Dragon Gem onto Sylveon. Because I'm going to go for a few Dragon Dances. And then. It only works when you attack, right? Because then the Dragon Claw will do a lot of damage. Right, so D falls. And there's the Media HQ. So this place looks ominous. Something tells me that a reoccurring feature of all Republican architecture. Man, I cannot wait to crack some Republican skulls. Caitlin, where's Ronnie? I'm mad at him. I told him to stay put in the Time Matrix. Need enough adventure for this trip. I mean, I don't think that's really his fault. You were unconscious. Whatever, I just woke up from a coma. I get a pass not to be rational and to be the crazy girlfriend for a change. That's healthy. Anyway, our job is to bust in here and take out the Republican general that's overseeing this place. We need to exercise due care, Agent Rhea. This is a Philian building. We're not to resort to killing anyone unless they attack us first, understood? They did nothing to justify an execution sentence. The Republican general, however, like I said, crack some skulls. No, if possible, we'll take him alive as well. Not only could we uh, help ourselves to his Shadow Stone, the General could have some additional information that would be helpful in our cause if we're able to capture him. Ah, I hate the missions where we can't kill the target. What a drag these ones are. Alright, everyone be careful in there. I'm, I'm with you. It's more fun we can just take him out. Excuse me, who are you? This is a classified government building. Civilians are not permitted entry. I'm calling security to escort you off the premises right this minute. Oh. Oh, come on. Nah, no, don't do that. Don't make me. Oh. Shoot you. Wow, Rhea, so much for being discreet. Can't argue with results. So I've got to just stop pushing the alarm, didn't I? It's likely too late. The people on the upper floor are going to be on high alert now. Well, let's see what I can tell about this place. Ooh, interesting. There appears to be a massive control room on the seventh floor. On top of this tower. The video feed is already on. I can see the Republican general uh, waiting up there. Is audio being recorded? Nobody appears to be alone anyway. We need to find a way to record audio to that room. There must be something that allows us to record audio in that room. Hmm, why? This is the Republic's central base of where they distribute their propaganda to the region. If we can get him to say something incriminating, record it, and then distribute that to the rest of the region, it will incite revolution among the people. If Neo Avion is in the midst of dealing with upheaval, it provides us the perfect cover to uh, warp in using the time matrix and remain undercover. Yeah, that's brilliant, Agent Rhea. However, let us not forget that we also need to find a way to disable whatever emitter is producing those infrared signals so we... We are even able to, uh, to make a time matrix portal into the outskirts of Neo Avion City to begin with. What is producing those infrared signals has to be on top of the on the top floor where the general is. Seventh floor, you said? Ah, oh, damn it! The elevator isn't responding. We're gonna have to slog it up this upstairs ourselves. All right, folks, you don't need to worry about uh, getting your steps in for today. Seven flights of stairs shouldn't be so bad, right? It's not the cardio I'm worried about. It's the Republican security personnel. Everyone, be on your guard. Okie dokie. Uh, what we got here? Big root, sweet. Just gonna walk on past you. Nice, easy. You okay, Rhea? A little busy, Volty. Keep going upstairs. I got this guy taken care of. Find the switch that activates the audio feed in the control room. 
Now we have trained security personnel in here to protect us. Do your worst, intruder. Uh, my worst? Woohoo, okay. I can do my worst. You must be the one who, uh, who the alarm was going for. Yep, that's me. Hi, how's it going? I'm just gonna uh, superpower you and cascade you. So far, so good. Yeah, future sight. Go for it. <laughs> the battle's gonna be over before it even gets off, I'm pretty sure. Uh, well, charge and crunch. Oh, Mega Dodrio's got five heads! Five heads still not enough to keep you from losing. Yikes. Ooh, close, close, close. Go for a wild charge and a crunch. Easy. Better get healed up though, just in case. Alright. Oh, hi. This facility is used to broadcast the Republic's message of hope and inspiration to the masses. Alright. That's nice. Thanks for giving me useless information. I'm just gonna superpower you. Wait. Yeah, superpower you and then cascade you. Future Sight. Okay, let's see if we can take you up before Future Sight comes in. Although, I mean, it's gonna be close, but I think we can do it. As long as we one-shot the next two Pokemon coming out. No, you got a critical hit? Oh, you suck. Oh, that really sucks, man. How many got a crit? Yeah, whatever. Alright, I'm gonna power gem you. And I guess we just cascade you for the rings up for a bit of damage, maybe? I don't know. I do like the Mega Zachu. That looks really nice. Oh, thanks for taking out the uh, Zatu. Appreciate it. Oh, one more cascade. Oh no, Paladin is going to die. Uh, let's see, let's see. Let's go Dust Noir. And we go for a nice Fire Punch. I'm going to quickly go heal up. And uh, we'll continue going through. Is there like a healing station? Doesn't look like it. See you guys back here in a sec. All right, we're back. Nice and healthy. Let's take on this dude. Yo, I'm challenging anyone I don't recognize. Fair play. And Wobbuffet and Minshaw. This should be easy. Uh, let's superpower and cascade. I jump kick. Oh, that sucks. Just, oh, Wobbuffet wants to try and set up a little bit. Don't like that. I'm gonna double attack exactly on Lee Wobbuffet last. Hopefully to like one shot it. Without it going for like Destiny Bond and ah oh, you suck. Just got healed up and you just take out the burning by that, not cool. Not cool. Uh let's go Dos Noir then. And with fire punch and crunch. Ooh, got the defense drop and encore. I mean uh, that kinda sucks, but. Make a Medicham. I forgot that was a real Pokemon for a second. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I thought I was going to Cascade. I'm going to Crunch. Did I click it this time? I press up. Oh, what? I press up on Cascade. Oh, then I press back. Like, oh, what? This is weird. I'm pressing up, and then when I press B. Like, look. Okay. Present A. I press up. Am I am I like encored into crunch? Is that why? But if I press B to go back, I think I'm encored into crunch. I thought I was encored into fire punch. Because it was crunch. That's probably it. But it was weird. I was pressing B and it wouldn't let me go back. I was stuck. Stuck in there forever. Let me heal up. Also, I did buy some potions on the way back. Oh, 10 rare candies? Oh, wow. I think I'll use that like, maybe if I get near the end boss, I'm not maxed out. Um, the reach of the public message is infinite. Okay. And maybe before I get to the seventh floor, I'll just use them just to make sure everyone's max level take on a, uh, what's his face? The general here. And, oh, Mega Sama. Oh, that actually looks real good. 
Kind of reminds me of the um, Hisuian version a little bit, but it looks a lot better. 100%. Oh, that's so nice. Like, Samurai was a Pokemon that I was like, eh, I thought it was okay. Not my favorite. But then the Hisuian version, just the, the slight change made it look a little bit better. But uh, I'm just disappointed because of what they could have gone with. Like, that Mega looked great. Could have gone with like, more Samurai. Samurai? That's the right word? More like a Samurai, I think. Anyway, let's go Swanner. And we'll go with Super Power and Dazzling Gleam. Finish them both off, please, Swanner. You got this. Nice. Nice. And last Pokemon. Oh, we had another Pokemon. Mubby. Right. That's row five. Make sure everyone's nice and healthy. I think to make things go a little bit easier as well, I probably should just do what I was doing when I first came to the future. These two. Infernape and Starmie together, just best combo. Oh, uh, we're dealing with that. How do we get in? Yo. Oh, baby. A double battle. Now I can beat both of them at the same time. Fault TV found the button that unlocks the, the penthouse door. Apparently it has a passcode. Um, you need to have the audio feeds on the 6th and 7th floor turned on first. Then the passcode in hand. Go for it the employees in here until you get some hints. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm willing to compromise on my privacy if it means the Republic is more in tune to threats and can protect us. Sure. The Republic security will protect us from you, intruder. Um, will they though? Will they really? Re Revolution scum, take us hostage, I don't care, I'll die for the Republic. You're not going to help us then. I was just trying to do my job. Okay. This is a very toxic work environment. We have armed security guards constantly monitoring this place and intimidating us. Still, there are some people that work here that support the Republic. I'm only here because I need a job. My family and I can't resort to the uh, the bread lines of the capital. I was kind of hoping I'd talk to you again. Maybe you'll have to help us, but what about you? Nope. Uh, maybe this? Nope. Don't make any sudden moves or else the guard will make orphans of my children. <laughs> Yikes. Want to get, the, uh, get past the security door on the sixth floor to access the penthouse? It has a passcode. I think the boss named it after his pet progly unit. It was uh, way too fat for its own good. You have to speak to the passcode into the terminal adjacent to the door though, so the audio feeds in the building need to be turned on. Okay, so we've got the... Wait, there's another person there. Uh, that's not it. Out the way. So let's talk to you two. Oh god, why are we on lockdown? Please don't hurt me. So that's everyone spoken to. Is it? No, we've got these people. Take my money. Oh, thank you. Oh, 500. Wasn't enough for some money, but I'll take it. One of the bookcases on the third floor that activates all audio feeds in the building. Okay, bookcases. Because it's currently on, on this floor right now. The Republic uses it to spy on eavesdropping employee conversations, but the one for the sixth floor and seventh floor control rooms are conveniently turned off. The General and his executives are above the rules and their loyalty to the Republic has earned them an exemption from being surveilled. Anyone that is heard to be speaking ill of the Republic is summarily executed. Please help us. I can try. So the third floor bookcase. So one, two, three. Wait, what? Oh, I think it's different because I think if this game's creator is um, from the US, this is technically the first floor. Like in the UK, this would be the ground floor. This would be the first floor, but I think in the US, it's the second floor. So then this would be the third floor. But for us, it would be the second floor. Yeah. Right, so... Wait. The audio feeds on the sixth floor and the control tower are now activated. Sweet. So now we can go to the top. Out the way, people. And this thing. Unit. Hey. You got the door open and the audio feeds turned on. Go on ahead, I'll join you as soon as I can. Still need to deal with these, uh, these guards. Come on, man. Chop, chop. Ain't that difficult to beat. I beat like six so far. Ah, so you're the fabled temporal interloper I've heard so much about. Faultsy, is it? The name is General Quinton Schmidt. I don't care uh, to know your name, General. Now surrender peacefully and hand over your shadow stone to me. I sincerely hope you didn't actually think I'd be willing to just submit myself so easily. We will not be stopped. Not by you. 
that Mini and Victor Duplices, or anyone else for that matter. We will rule this sector or see it burn to ashes around us. The director would rather have the Apot region burn around him for all he cares. He wants absolute power and domination of this region, and all the space time at any cost. Now prepare to battle, Temporal Interloper. Okay, so Victor isn't working for the Republic, he's just, um, like we thought potentially, doing his own thing. Which probably isn't any better, to be fair. <laughs> Alright, uh, this actually is, oh, very good for us, because we can just uh, superpower the Porygon and power gem the Ninetales. Oh, that Porygon looks sick! Look a little like Mohawk. That's cool. Although, that sucks. In fact, we don't one shot it. Oh, the hail finishes you off though. That's uh, really good. Alright, what should we go into? Let's go into Sylveon. And I'm going to go Dragon Dance. And I think Ninetales is going to probably heal up. Yep. Oh, that sucks. And Hale's going to finish me off. So we'll go into Dust Noir. Dragon Dance again. And going to go for a Fire Punch on Ninetales. Greninja will most likely take me out, but hopefully we can just Dragon Claw everything and one-shot it. Can't even get the attack off as well. This is actually not looking too good. Actually, really not looking good. I was hoping Ninetales would get hit, but... Uh... Dragon Claw and Cascade. Don't die, don't die. Oh, you got a crit as well. I feel like even if it wasn't a crit, I'm dead. Right, Hurricane you. And Cascade again. Luckily, Ice Shell doesn't do too much damage. This battle could go a lot smoother, 100%. Alright, they could heal up. Gonna air slash and cascade. They do a mega potion and a full restore. Sweet. And then I'm gonna go to the max revive. I need to get Fern Ape. Come on, big damage. Or well, not. Oh, this is just not looking good. Right. Air slash, and if I can just get this superpower off and do big damage, you yeah, outspeed us, that sucks, but. Bit of a stat boost. Flinch it, flinch it, nice! Needed that flinch bad. Right, if we're gonna get focused like that, we can probably heal up. And then superpower again on nine tails. That's fine, that's a critical hit, that sucks, but. Alright. Yeah, this battle is just not going too smoothly. Oh, wow! So Valley looks sick! Uh, don't really want to risk it. I'm going to superpower Dragolidge. It looks like you're maybe Ghost? Uh, let's Wild Charge. Nice! Jarabal does like nothing. <laughs> Woo! That Intimidate really helped a little bit, I think. No, this is impossible. How can I lose? This is unbelievable. Republican General, you've been defeated. Drop your weapon and your Shadow Stone and you don't get the bullet through your head. Oh, come on. You can't be serious. Did I miss all the fun? Please don't kill me. What do you want? I have money. Do you want money? We want you to shut up and give us your Shadow Stone. Yes, anything. Here, take it. Cool. There, you have my Shadow Stone. Please, will you let me go? Not a chance, dude. You're coming with us back to the Time Matrix. The Time Matrix of Legend? No, it can't be. That place is a myth. Oh, it's real, all right. Anyway, enough of that. Caitlin, check the communication feed. Is it still on? Ha, yep, it still is. Excellent. Make sure we get a copy of the recent feed downloaded. We need the uh, leverage. Get to work on distributing that footage to all Newswire websites. Aye, aye, Cap'n. Okay, I got the process initiated. It's going to take some time to get this recording fully distributed to all the news outlets though. But the infrared signal emitters have been disabled. No, what are you doing? What are you distributing? The incriminating footage of you admitting the Republic are a bunch of corrupt politicians that have been looting this country. No, you can't. 
Hopefully this will send a wake up message to any of the capital sector citizens and make them realize the corruption within the capital and the Republic. Good work, Agent Faltzi. Here's one of the elevator pass cards I was able to secure from one of the Republican guards. Ezra and I are returning back to the Time Matrix and taking General Quinton Schmidt with us. Keelan and Victini, however, will stay here to make sure that the footage is distributed to any media outlet in the region. Once this incites the chaos we want, it will provide us with the perfect cover to safely open a portal using the Time Matrix and allow us to not attract any attention to us. Sweet. Alright, so... Where are we going now? Are we going back to the Time Matrix too? Or do we want to... Ooh! Hey, another Zygarde core. 42%! Hey! Oh, this is a dead end, isn't it? So I'm thinking we go... to the time matrix now? Surely that's gotta be it. Where's the Alakazam guy? There you are. So we probably want to go back to Fit Epsilon. And then we go back to Agnes's lab. Someone should probably, you know, close the secret hideout. Good work on bringing down the Republican Media HQ team. It was all Voltsy. Yeah, I'll do what I do. All right, so we now have Quentin's Shadowstone in our custody. Do you have any idea whose uh, soul his Shadowstone can summon? No, for whatever reason, General Smith didn't summon a Shadow clone to fight me and try to escape. Get that thing away from me. I didn't even want it. Angelo has been meddling with powers beyond his comprehension by using those Shadow Stones. Faltzi, seeing as how you uh, dispossess Quinton, that makes you the rightful owner of his Shadow Stone. I suppose you have the ability to summon the Shadow Clone. I suppose so. Well, here goes nothing. Free from my anguish. Looks like it's the Shadow Clone of Caitlin's uncle, the former holder of the Crimson Soul Stone. I'm glad she isn't here to see this. This would certainly be upsetting. Alright, my turn. Come out, Bellatrix. Uh, your cheekiness of summoning me as you please infuriates me, mortal scum. Ah, oh, who's an angry watcher, Shadow Clone? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Cameron, enough. <laughs> Recall her now. We don't need her out right now. Stop taunting her. You fools, you have two of those stones? What are you doing? Recall those Shadow Clones now before they attract the attention of the Time Wraiths. Well, Time Wraiths. Yes, having those accursed Shadow Stones in such close proximity to one another lights a bloody beacon to this place. Whoa, Agnes, what the hell are those? Oh no, Quinton's right. The Time Wraiths have found us. Cameron, Faulty, recall your Shadow Clones now. It's too late, you fools. They've found you. Flee. This place is lost to you. Oh, they're here. Run. I'm ready to meet my maker. Hilipoch. Oh, snap. What are they doing? Oh, and they kill a doctor as well. I don't think we want to stay here and find out. Everyone run. Back to the portal to my lap. Hurry. And we've just lost uh, the Time Matrix. Is everyone here safe? No, the Soul Keepers were left behind. There's no time. The portal needs to be closed. No, we can't abandon them. God damn it, those creatures will kill all of us. Uh oh, Temporal Interloper? You dare meddle with the balance of space-time? You must pay for your transgressions. No, I didn't do... Wait with your abomination. Oh, Agent Victor. Manipulator of Shadow. That's it. Come for the Shadow Council. Your essence shall be mine. You miss me. You can run, but you can't hide. We'll see about that. What the hell was that? Doesn't matter. Close the portal now. That was too close. No, the Soul Keepers. We just abandoned them in that place. Oh, where the hell did Victor come from? Is he crazy? That was the infamous Agent Victor that escaped your custody at Ashfro Marsh? Yes. He just distracted the Wraith to save us. We need to reopen the portal and rescue Victor and the Soul Keepers. We asked them to come along to help us reclaim this timeline. We can't just forsake them like that. Why would Victor do that after we imprisoned him? He just saved us from the Wraiths. Agent Victor seems to have baited those creatures into pursuing him instead. He has his own Shadow Stone. In fact, he might even be more than the two that uh, we have in our possession. Those Wraiths only pursue those who have meddled with space-time, but those Shadow Stones appear to attract their attention. The Time Wraiths appear to be enraged by the Shadow Council or any sort of Shadow Clones at all. Victor is insane but brilliant. He just showed us uh, how we're going to win this war. What? Agnes, you need to reopen a portal into the Time Matrix, but it needs to be somewhere n new in the Pocket Dimension. Somewhere the Time Wraiths won't be aware of our presence. We need to rescue the Soul Keepers and Victor from the Time Matrix. You out of your damn mind, General? If it wasn't for Victor baiting those creatures, those things would have consumed all of our life essence. So we need to split up and none of us can bring a Shadow Stone in there. If we do, we draw a giant target on our backs. 
Agent Kara, you, you, Foxy, and Agent Roberts all traveled back to the 21st century, correct? Yet somehow those shadow stones were enough to enrage those creatures to completely forget about uh, you despite you being mere feet away from them. It means that those shadow stones could theoretically form a sort of cloak for those of us traveling through time. If a time wraith is pursuing you for traveling through time, then a person with a shadow stone can distract them to get them off your scent, so to speak. This is insane. No, Agent Kara, General Almeida is right. As I had been studying Cameron Shadowstone that you brought to me earlier, there's certain properties that make it pulse with a dark energy that make it a massive beacon to Time Wraiths. It explains why the Time Wraiths elected to continue pursue Agent Victor rather than feast on your souls. Agnes, why the, why the hell wouldn't you tell us that before we brought the second one into the Time Matrix with us then? I didn't realize two of them would be enough to attract the Wraiths. Does anyone else have any other ideas? Seriously, anyone. Yeah. Despite my hesitation, General Almeida is right. I could care less about Victor, but we need to rescue the other Soul Keepers. We can't damn them to a fate of constantly trying to outrun the Time Wraiths within the Time Matrix. I need some time to determine a safer coordinates to open a gateway into the Time Matrix. Time is of the essence, Agnes. We'll give you some time to determine a safe location, but the fate of Victor and the Soul Keepers lie in your hands. Six hours later. Agnes, any progress yet? I won't figure it out any faster with you breathing down my neck, Agent Roberts. Now back off and let a woman work. Do you want some time wraiths to be awaiting you right as you step into the bloody place? I understand the delay, but surely you're close by now. The Soul Keepers won't have much longer, if it isn't already too late. Eureka! I found it. Good news? I believe so. Okay, listen up everyone, I have a plan. This portal will take you to a new set of coordinates within the time matrix. Coordinates shall be 048.47.52.3564. Cannot believe we're risking our lives for a hunch. We could just as easily step through the portal right into the waiting arms of those time wraiths. If that were the case, Agent Rhea, those time wraiths wouldn't wait for you to step through the portal. They would be instead be clamoring to rush through the portal to kill all of us. The fact they haven't done that yet is promising. However, to General Amida's earlier concern, Agent Cameron and Volti, both of you give me your shadow stones. Alright everyone, the portal is open. This is first and foremost a rescue mission. Volti, lead the way. Oh great, I'm leading the way. <laughs> Well, I think we'll probably end this part right here then. Next episode, we're going to the portal and hopefully no time wraiths are waiting for us. I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.